I have a tree problem. It's always windy here and my poor tree is having a hard time. This is just a new young tree. It was planted a year ago. So it's had a year to root. Obviously you can see that it's quite bent and I did have it secure with this cord. However, my dog got to it and I'm going to be replacing this cord with some wire rope. Now my dog is not going to be able to chew through this wire. cable that I can wrap around the tree and hold it in place so that any new windstorms that come through the tree is going to be secure. After you cut it the wire is probably going to start to fray. I'm just going to use some duct tape and wrap it around to secure it. And I have a nice clean end. And it's even better that I can make that wire rope any length that I need. These are your clips and this is the thimble. Add the clips to the single wire then make your loop. Return the clips over the double wires, then using a ratchet or a drill, tighten the bolts, securing the furthest clip away from the thimble first. Tighten the clip, securing the loop, making sure that the U-bolt is against the short end of the wire. There are many ways to properly support a growing tree, and I've seen a lot of methods. Whichever setup and materials work best for you, always protect the trunk and try your best to prevent any unnecessary breakage. This stake and rope will temporarily hold the tree in place while I secure the cable. So this cable is directly against the tree, then it's going to damage the trunk. I thought about using a pool noodle, it was too thick. I also had some poly pipe, so I'm just gonna try and use this straw. I turned that coil of cable into some wire rope and each end has a thimble and the clips and a little device I made to protect the tree. So there'll be no friction, no damage to the trunk of the tree and I'll be using these tent pegs to secure the hoops. The best thing about using these tent pegs is that you can take them out and move them anywhere you need if you have to adjust the angle of the tree. And I have a little bit of red tape. I'm just gonna wrap it around the bottoms because I don't want to trip on it. So if I have a little bit of red, I know they're there. And since it was so cost effective to make my own cable, I now have a lot of material left over for future projects. Well, it's been around four weeks since I added this cable to support this leaning tree. And it has already been through an unexpected spring snowstorm and a severe windstorm. It's holding up quite nicely and I'm going to keep the supports on there for about a year as recommended. This will allow the tree to form a very strong root system and then you can remove the stakes and hopefully the tree will be able to withstand terrible weather moving forward. And something definitely has to happen in this area all of here. So I'm gonna leave that up to you. What do you think that I should do in the base of this tree? I have the option to use garden edging. This is left over from a previous garden project I had and it's great for gardens and landscapes and keeping, uh, keeping soil and dirt and everything contained. So I might use this. You could also use some stone or some brick to create a nice barrier wall or I fill it in with grass or I just leave it add some mulch. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.